This is Andre Banks with Banks Credit Chat discussing four tips on obtaining an 800 credit score. Now, everyone wants to strive to get the 800 credit score. It allows you the best interest rates and it allows you the best, on some of the best terms you can get in terms of obtaining debt. I should have rephrased this as saying, what are the four things that people who have the 800 credit score have in common and ways you can duplicate them and strive to get that 800 credit score? So first thing that people who have the 800 credit score have in common is that they have a low credit utilization rate. Specifically, they have a credit utilization rate under 5%. So all their debt obligations, they keep the balances low, and they keep that credit utilization rate under 5%. The second thing they have in common, and people who have the 800 credit score and something you can change to, is they have a mix of credit card, credit card, a mix of debt overall. And when I mean a mix, they have a mortgage, uh, car payment, car loans, they have a retail credit cards, they have regular credit cards, it just allows them to utilize in any, uh, and for any application, have a personal loan. They have a wide range and mix of different debt, different obligations and different debt instruments that allows them to, it's not based on one particular industry, I should say, industry, maybe that's not the right word, industry, uh, one particular avenue of a debt. They have it in a mixed variety. They can even have student loans. Just the, the wider the mix, that's what they have and something you can try to obtain to that. So never focus your debt obtaining on keeping in one category. Mixture is always better. And people who have the 100 credit score, they tend to have a, a variety of mixed debt. The third thing they have in common and and this should come under no surprise and anyone to try to do this is they have no lay payments, no negative discrepancies, no judgments on their credit report. Right, so no lay payments, credit discrepancies, no judgments. That's what people who have a under credit score have in common, something that everyone should strive for. And in fact, they some tend to pay, they tend to pay any credit card or any debt obligation uh, multiple times and way before the credit due date. But in, in this case, they just just keep in mind that no discrepancies, low late payments, and nothing negative impacting your credit report. The fourth thing they have and they have in common is something that you definitely should strive for is a long payment credit history. And when I mean long here, I'm talking about at least 15 years. 15 years, it seems to be the kind of a benchmark that people who have an 800 credit score tend to have. And the reason why it's 15 years is because um, it just establishes uh, credibility and reliability. Shows that you can have a consistent pattern here, not just for a decade, but 15 years. It seems to be having, it seems that something that everyone who has a great 100 credit score has in common is they have it at least 15 years. If you don't have that, something you can strive for, the longer the credit history, the better. Um, there's always, of course, there's loopholes that you can try to get to to uh, circumvent that. But for people, for the most part, people who have a, they hand your credit score, they have a long credit history and it technically begins to be about 15 years. Four things you can strive for, no matter what your journey is in terms of your credit, your credit history, as you want to keep continuing to improve that, for people who have the, they have your credit score, they tend to have those four things in common. I'm just going to go through them real quickly again. They have a low credit utilization rate under 5%. They have no discrepancies or judgments or anything negative on their credit report. Third, they have a wide range and mix of credit cards, uh, not mix of debt instruments itself. And that means from credit cards to mortgages, to student loans, to just a, a variety and mixture. And fourth, they have a long payment credit history, typically 15 years better. Four things you could do for yourself to get to that 800 credit score. And these are the four things that people who have the 800 credit score tend to have on their credit report. And that's the reason why they're able to maintain it and keep that. Something we all can strive for, especially if you're not at the 800 credit score. But if you're at 750 or 760, you're well on your way and you can definitely uh, obtain that. So if this video has been any value to you. Please subscribe, leave some comments, hit the like button until my next video. From Banks Credit Chat, I'm out.